There, I want to take the viewer to Parliament Buildings, where our very own John Jacob Curia is standing by to just give us what the parliamentarians are uh, talking about and what they expect. John Jacob Curia, take it away. Thank you, Betty Kiptumi, live from Parliament Buildings. The state of a nation by President William Ruto is scheduled for today. And there are a raft of things that Kenyans really have expressed themselves in terms of what they would want to hear from the president, um, ranging from the high cost of living and other issues. Uh, but probably even before we delve into some of these things, let's just get the perspectives of members of parliament as regards what they want or they would want to hear from the president and have grabbed one from the government side, the other from the opposition. So we're going to get, you know, what you would call uh, differences in terms of opinion. So let me just move to this other side so that I call in, I uh, bring in Mashimua Mara uh, Kitayama from Korea. Is Mashimua, how are you? Uh, I'm good. Uh, yeah. What are your expectations today <laughs> when the president does the annual State of the Nation? Uh, the biggest expectation for me uh, is for the president to speak candidly to the nation. And speak truth to nation. Uh, just as we all expect uh, to speak truth to power, uh, power needs to speak truth to its citizenry. Uh, I, would, I would be very happy today if the president was to be extremely candid on the state of this nation. Previous governments have, uh, you know, uh, uh, flossed over or deliberately uh, lied to its citizens so that they look good. Mm -hmm. I want to believe that so far uh, th this particular president, President William Ruto, has displayed some cardiness that uh, sometimes may not go down well with Kenyans mm -hmm. because Kenyans are used to being lied to. Uh, my expectation today is that he's going to tell us the real situation of the economy uh, the reasons behind the high cost of living, because uh, indeed everybody uh, accepts that the, this, the cost of living is high. Yeah. Fuel prices have gone high, not only in Kenya, internationally. Uh, and I would be expecting to hear his uh, measures towards uh, making it better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, there are those that are even saying, why not just make it uh, expensive and then start bringing it down? That mm -hmm. would be deceptive. Mm -hmm. We will let market forces speak. We will also let the president speak because we elected him to do that that presidents do, mm -hmm. speak to the nation. Mm -hmm. And that is what I'm expecting today. Uh, it would be also good for him to give hope to the country. That even as the truth is, it is what it is, uh, you know, what is it that he's doing and what is his administration is doing, or rather our administration, because I'm a member of Kenya Kwanzaa uh, 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 side of government, and it will be important that uh, we speak to the people candidly. We tell them, yes, it is going to hurt. But it is going to hurt for how long? If we do know, we will say, we expect him to say. If we do not know, uh, we'll just expect the president to tell us that he doesn't exactly know when, but he has a plan. Mm -hmm. And that plan is uh, towards making uh, the cost of living uh, better and manageable. I also want to bring uh, to the attention of the country that uh, every single day, unfortunately, uh, government finds itself bumping into loans that are due mm. or they're coming due uh, how i wish that uh, treasury and other arms of government would have spelled this out earlier so that even as uh, an incoming president uh, comes in they're able to deal with things together mm. holistically mm. because uh, when when suddenly today you you, you realize you have a a, a, a a debt that is due and it must be paid and uh, you know then you start having to juggle around you know what do you do with this what do you do with this mm. i think uh, a, a truth in government truth in leadership and uh, you know generally making it work for everyone much more you get an opportunity to discuss and debate the uh, reports that the president will table in the house but even as you talk about measures being taken by government the fact that if as late as yesterday we had the Ministry of Interior announcing a raft of measures that we see an increase even in getting primary documents in this country. Would you say then that this administration is being careful in terms of how it's handling an already struggling citizen? Uh, the, the problem with progress is that it has to be painful. That is the, that is the whole thing around progress. 
all countries have their own legislative regimes, they have their own administrative regimes, and uh, every country does it differently. Mm. I know for a fact that there are countries that you really, those that are looking for visas, for example, to go to other countries, even those that win green card, it's not that cheap, you still have to pay. Mm you know you pay and uh, if that is what it is going to cost us to do that the better and if that is also going to stop corruption because uh, let's let's be honest uh, when 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 you don't charge openly and you know uh, rates that are known then uh, people in government are going to make a kill we remember there was a, a minister not long ago who was accused of uh, taking bribes to get uh, foreigners' uh, citizenship and uh, work permits in this country. So it is better, I would rather a government that tells us, pay this much money we know, so that you come up front, rather than a government that goes quiet, charges meager, and then at the end of it all, people make a kill out of it. All right. Yeah. Let's see a